secrets of perfecting tea time from a man who literally wrote the book on it. Jesse, I know you love a crumpet. I do love a crumpet. I would go to <laughs> London for one. Tom Parker Bowles is exploring the history and secrets behind the English tradition of high tea in Fordham and Mason, the cookbook. Take a look. Tom joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And this cookbook is really, really cool because he wrote this alongside Fordman Mason. They're basically a famous market from England, known for high tea. This is their first official cookbook, though, in 300 years. Over 300, That's yeah. crazy. So aside from the history, what's different about this cookbook? Well, this is Fortnum Mason is one of the great English stores. It, it, it's provided the best quality food and tea mm -hmm. for centuries. And so every single thing, all these products, the tea, they wrote the book on. Now, right here, we have something quintessentially English. Crumpets. Crumpets. And right now we've got a lot of different condiments going with it here. We've got honey and, honey and cream, cream cheese. cheese. We've got marmalade and lemon curd. And we've got a mystery condiment as well that our guests here are going to help us taste. You guys ready? Take a bite. Delicious. What do you think? <laughs> um, a man of many words. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Ready? You don't find this very often in crumpets. Mango chutney butter. Pretty good, right? Yeah, and it's not, it, it's a very much a Fortnum's thing, and all these, the honeys and stuff, you can, you know, you can buy online. Okay, let's skip on down here to our next table, something that, of course, we're all very familiar with, tea sandwiches. But there is a way that you need to prepare it. It's a real key, you get good bread, butter it, and have a look here, we'll do it very quick. This is coronation chicken, which is sort of curry chicken. On like that, and you need a plate. You're pushing it down. So on literally, just like this. Exactly, and that means that, you know, you get all the flavors in there, and you get this wonderful, texture because again at Fortnum's and tea and doing tea properly it's about the look as well as the flavor mm. so you have the smoked salmon with the uh, exactly. it's such a big part of the tea experience isn't it it it's is fantastic now finally here we have something that's very very traditional but maybe some Americans don't really know about this this is a Battenberg Bat I mean it looks pretty cool it's got marzipan it's got all these different colors I mean people say it was named after Queen Victoria's uh, granddaughter or named after a Prussian village but the point about this and the point about the book is it it contains all these tea recipes but also it's very easy I can cook from it anyway Cook. No doubt. Let's go. have a bite. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even going for oh, it. No. I, might be, I don't even know. I might be breaking the rules. No, no, there are no rules. No, yeah. that, that is delicious. Yes? Tastes good? Thumbs up. Awesome. Thumbs up all the way around. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, never have enough crumpets. Fortnum Mason, the cookbook, it's on sale now. All right, thank you so much, Jesse.